you actually take up with any scores? I had a couple experiences where I was really uh, lucky that I was a able to be at the <laughs> time on my skis and was able to run. And there were some of the uh, women that I remember which were chasing me that particular time uh, that I would not like to be uh, caught. caught. Shika is uh, a name given to me by my uh, teacher in India. Uh, it means uh, lover of the divine and I work with the most uh, common of the elements, uh, stone, and I find divineness in I was reading a lot of uh, Jack London. Mm -hmm. books about the north and the discovery of gold and the animals and um, was dreaming as a boy about mm -hmm. being there. Where, where from Poland are you from? Gdansk. Gdansk, okay. Yes. Right. At some point my parents uh, started the work on emigrating to Canada and uh, I uh, came with them to Vancouver, British Columbia. And from there, after um, number of years graduating from high school learning English and learning my way around there I wanted to live my dream which I started years back about being up in the Yukon in the north living with Indians learning from them the way of life I was uh, kayaking for uh, about a month on one of the river systems uh, heading north the autumn was coming so I was kind of getting into a little bit squeezed time of at some point there will be a freeze up and I will be uh, still heading up there north one morning I uh, as I was going through the river I uh, heard the um, dogs sounds of the dogs and I came to the bank of the river and I looked at the little camp where uh, uh, a man who was living there, an Indian, um, welcomed me to his place and it was an extremely simple situation. I came, he welcomed me in, he gave me some tea and some bannock, bannock is a bread, mm -hmm. and some dry meat and it was very simple. Mm -hmm. We started talking, me with my broken English, him with his broken English, right. and uh, he invited me to stay. But how long were you with him? Uh, I was there for about five years. You're kidding. <laughs> what were you looking for? A way of growing up which would show me uh, deeper layers of who I am. What were the first things that struck you? The line between life and death was so close. In one of the winters where uh, food supply ran so low that we had to start killing our dogs because we didn't have any meat okay. for them. I suddenly realized, okay, if you pull the trigger, you're going to be a different person. The man that I was living with, his way was a very simple, different way. But I knew when I came across the uh, pieces of Inuit art walking on the tundra. So that perhaps was my first experience of seeing art um, which I would say was phenomenal for me. I came uh, back to Vancouver and decided to study art and uh, went to um, Emily Carr uh, School of Art and Design. Why sculpture? A lot was because I really liked working with material which is a hard material and very fast I realized that I like to work with granites rather than soapstone, limestone, even marble. Something really hard where I hit that 
chisel and hammer into it, it just comes back and there's a little dot and you put the whole energy into it. Why do you torture yourself like But it's not a torture. Mm. What it's not, it's, a, it's torture. a dance. Really? It's a, it's a love when affair. When you love something. My body, you would look at me how I work, and I work physically so hard, I don't even know when the time goes. When so you're the, lost in it? When the sun comes down, I'm almost going, oh, yeah. a little bit more. In art school, I started creating work which was a little bit strange for people to understand how this Polish man is doing work which is a very different work. Uh, and what was happening in my work, I had very, I, I still have very vivid uh, dream life. And the images that were coming in my dreams, I started carving. And at one point a friend of mine said to me, why don't you go to the uh, library and look at the Indian art? Well, I went and looked at the art, at the images from Kajuraho, images uh, of stone carvings, mm -hmm. and suddenly started re re realizing that what I am doing were very much images from India, from tantric images, so. Shiva lingams. And I was so stunned to see that, and I decided to pack up my bags and check it out what's going on. On the motorcycle, I would go into places where I would come into the jungles and mm -hmm. suddenly the temple would come out from the jungle with the images of Shiva Lingams. Perhaps as an artist, yeah. I needed to go and experience more things in my life and be able to express it with my body, myself. Arma was uh, uh, a painter in the ashram mm -hmm. and um, we both met and started uh, very much uh, appreciating each other's uh, journey as artists. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but why Australia in all places? Um, he was realized... invited to come because his art was received by a place in Melbourne oh, and okay. they said we'd be interested in showing your work. How long have you been in Australia? This is six years now. Six years, so you're almost ready to go again. I no? wonder, what do you think? It's about, uh, I don't know, uh, I mean, Jesus, have you tried the pygmy village in South Africa? <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, it's pygmies there. You've been there? Well, actually, I'm a pygmy, but I wasn't <laughs>